So far as a third-party dev, Bethesda is showing the most support for the Switch. We already knew that Skyrim was coming to the Switch, but nobody expected Doom and Wolfenstein. These are powerful games. How can they get them to run on what is essentially a beefed-up tablet? Well, for one, Doom is only running at 720p 30 frames per second. That is less impressive than porting something over at full 1080 60. What is really impressive is that this is a portable console. Don't forget that. If you want to play Doom at 60 frames per second, get an Xbox One or a PS4 or a good PC. You just won't be playing this game in a park or on a plane. You're sacrificing the resolution for the convenience. The portable screen is only 720p, so the only reason for it to be 1080p would be for docked mode, which at that point, you might as well get it for another console. Some people want their Switch to be their all-in-one console. I guess it could be, but you'd have to be willing to make some sacrifices. Contrary to popular belief, the dock doesn't actually do anything to beef up the graphics. It just allows the Switch to run at full power without draining the battery. It's been proven that games like Breath of the Wild actually run better portably. Basically what I'm saying is, don't bitch about the frame rate, you're stupid. It should also be noted that this version of Doom will fit on a 16 gigabyte cartridge with a nine gigabyte download for the multiplayer mode. That is some serious downscaling, considering that the PC version of the entire game is 78 gigabytes. Since Bethesda and id Software like to optimize their games for PC, this is essentially a PC port running at low specs. id Software took the time to port their id Tech 6 engine to the Switch. Right now, the only games that use the id Tech 6 engine are Doom, Doom VFR and Wolfenstein 2, which explains why we're getting both Doom and Wolfenstein 2 on the Switch. The Switch port seems to contradict their goal of the engine, though. What are the goals of the new engine? Our internal kind of fundamental goal is to be the best looking uh, tech at 60 hertz. Um, you know, 60 frames per second is really important to us. <laughs> Again, portable console. A spokesperson for Bethesda said, the game and rendering technology underlying Doom is extremely scalable. In bringing Doom to Switch, we targeted outstanding visuals at a solid 30 frames per second, and by maintaining a consistent 30 frames per second, the experience remains consistently fluid and smooth. We've been thrilled with the feedback that Doom is among the very best looking and performing games on Switch. I think that's important. A consistent frame rate is much more important than a high one. And again, this is running on a tablet. The game ports aren't being done by Bethesda or id Software themselves. They're being done by Panic Button, who have proved their worth with other Switch games like Astro Duel Deluxe and much more significantly, Rocket League on the Switch. But members of the Panic Button team have a long list of respectable credits like Torok, NBA Jam, Oddworld, Ultima Online, Metroid Prime, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and Mass Effect. So in order to get this thing ported over to the Switch, they had to port over the entire id Tech 6 engine, they downscaled the resolution, they cut back on the frame rate, they downsampled all of the textures, they added a blur to obscure the lack of depth of field, and a whole bunch of other optimizations that are way over my head. Even with all of that, this still isn't a perfect port. People who were invited to try it last week reported that the frame rate stuttered occasionally. This could be an effect of the game not being finished yet, but that just goes to show that there is still much more optimization to be done. The fact that the engine can be ported over is a Herculean feat in itself. All of the other optimization by comparison is simpler stuff. Digital Foundry has a great video where they build a PC that is as close to Switch hardware as possible and it actually runs Doom fairly well at low settings. Obviously, things need to be optimized better here too, but that's what Panic Button is getting paid to do. It still takes time and money to get things ported over to the Switch. I'm hoping that this goes well for Bethesda and next year we'll be seeing other third parties taking the time to port their games over to the Switch. And that those ports are true to their original versions and not the Wii shovelware that we've seen in the past. Don't give me a new game with the same name. Give me the same game, just at a lower resolution. I just want Overwatch, goddammit. So what do you guys think about Doom coming to the Switch and all this work that they're doing to port all of their games over? Do you think it's worth it? And what do you think about this cricket that won't shut the hell up? It's like in the wall. 
All right, there it goes. Leave it in the comments below. Add me on Twitter. All of this other social media garbage. We got new videos every single Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday night, Wolf Den Live joins for a live podcast. And now we're going to have more live streams. We're partners with YouTube Gaming now, so I'm going to try to stream the actual gameplay. Wow, amazing. But tonight, while this video is out, 8 p.m., we're going to be streaming something. I'm thinking Gun Vault. I want to play that. I'm still playing with the schedule. I don't know how consistent I'm going to be with streaming, but we'll see. And I'm going to make a formal announcement right here. I've decided if we can get 20 sponsors, I will stream Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Right? You hear that, Cricket? <laughs> the easiest thing to do is click the bell to know when we upload a video or when we go live. This week, I was on my buddy Michael's podcast called You Gotta Watch, which is a very interesting concept. He's giving himself a year to watch 300 classic movies all the way from like the 1920s up until now, and he made it to Star Wars. And of course, I very much like Star Wars, so he had me talk all about it. I don't think I can put it in the end card, but I'll put a link in the description, and then you can listen to it and tell me how much I don't know about Star Wars. And of course, the most important things you can do is subscribe. And Sarah's very the friend, a friend who has a Switch or a friend that you want to get into the Switch and you think that Doom's the way to do it. Thank you guys very much. Watch episodes for a good week, yeah?